You are tuned in to On Air with Chris Shanafel. Welcome back on air with Chris Shanafel, and we have another player spotlight interview for you guys this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be joined by now 2020 NFL draft prospect. He's the running back out of Ball State University by way of Edinburgh University. He's Walter Fletcher, and Walter, I really appreciate you taking the time to chat. How's everything going, man? Well, everything's going well. Um, right now, I'm in um, Norcross, Georgia, working out with um, Chip Smith for uh, the next eight weeks to prepare for my pro day. So I started um, this past Monday, so finished my first week, and it's been going very well. So happy to be here. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, you're, you're certainly not the first of uh, Chip Smith guys that I've been able to chat with. Obviously one of the best um, out there if you're uh, trying to get prepared for a pro day and put up some uh, really eye-opening numbers. So uh, great to hear that you're working with one of the best in the country. Um Looking at what you've been able to do throughout the past four years, Walter, I mean, uh, really impressive, and and we had you on the show back in May to talk about your new opportunity at Ball State, so uh, I just want to start right there. Um, You decide that you're going to use your final year of eligibility to play at the Division I level in the MAC. You, You go to Ball State. And fast forward now eight months, I mean, you played in all 12 games. You ran for 725 yards and five touchdowns. You also uh, pitched in on the receiving end as well with 26 receptions and 305 yards and two more touchdowns. Uh, You were a part of arguably the best running back duo in the MAC with yourself and Caleb Huntley. Uh, You guys ran for over 2,000 combined yards and 17 touchdowns combined. Um, What was it like sharing the backfield with Huntley this past season, and how are you going to look back at your one year of uh, playing Division I football at Ball State? Oh, it was great. Um, Caleb Huntley, he's a very talented running back. He has great size. Um, he's, he's fast for a guy that weighs 225. Very fast guy, explosive running back. And uh, it was great sharing the backfield with him this past season. Um, you know, from day one, I talked to him. I just told him, you know, I'm not here to, you know, take your spot or anything. I just want to, you know, work together and have a great year. I know I knew uh, he rushed for 1,000 yards his freshman year. And then my experience from Edinburgh, I knew it would be a great tandem, you know, from the start. So this summer, you know, we put in the work together, put in the time together, and I think he showed this season. And it was a great year. I learned a lot from him, and I um, learned a lot from myself. So um, I think it worked out. But um, overall, just coming to Ball State, um, it was the best decision for my career, just with uh, Coach New, um, Coach Joey Lynch's offense. They run you know, NFL-style offense. So I think being able to, to be in that offense and showcasing my talent, I think it helped my game tremendously as far as my IQ and just running under center and the shotgun. And you know, my offense was versatile as well. You know, I was in certain wildcat packages. It split me out outside receiver. So I think it just showed, you know, to the scouts and then just my talent that I can do a little bit of everything. So um, it was just a great experience overall. It was a, it's a great program. So I was blessed to have the opportunity to play there for this past season. Well, you certainly proved that you belonged uh, to play at that level. And, uh, Walter, to say that you've had a unique journey to get to where you're at today, it would be quite the understatement. Um, looking back, coming out of high school, you had no offers. You began your collegiate career at Robert Macon University, a Division Three program. You would then work your way up the ranks, spending three years at Division II's Edinburgh University. And then, of course, uh, you worked your way up yet again uh, to the Division One ranks at Ball State. I'm sure dating back to your high school days, the dream was always to play Division One football. What was it like, uh, you know, living that dream this past season to cap off your collegiate career? Oh, it was definitely a journey, you know, thinking back from high school. It's crazy to think where I'm at now, you know, just being a pro prospect. Just looking back, it just took a lot of the hard work, you know, just dedication to the game. But um, this year was everything I dreamed of, just first game playing at Lucas Oil and having an opportunity to play at NC State. It was just, it's just a dream come true, man. Just the fans, the atmosphere, the environment. It was everything that you dreamed of. And I'm just happy it played, played out the way that it did. You know, I think everything that I've been through over the years kind of got me to this point. And once I got to the Division One level, I just, you know, I gave it everything that I had. And it was a tremendous experience. And before transferring to Ball State, Walter, you were the best running back in Division Two. 
uh, for the Edinburgh University Fighting Scots. Throughout your three years there, you ran for over 3,900 yards, 41 touchdowns, mm-hmm. and you also made your impact felt on the receiving end there as well, hauling in 93 total mm-hmm. receptions for nearly 700 yards and six more scores. In 2018, you were named the Conference Offensive Player of the Year, and that's uh, in one of the best conferences, if not the best conference in Division Two, the PSAC. How were you able to dominate the way you did the second you stepped on the field at Edinburgh? Uh, I just want to credit, you know, my coaching staff and, team, and teammates just to begin. Um, you know, they believed in me, you know, from the day that um, I got the starting position, you know, my redshirt freshman year. They believed in me. You know, they, they gave me the keys to the car, and I just wanted to, you know, help my team win in any way possible, whether I was running the ball, catching the ball. But I'm um, just, you know, preparation in the weight room, you know, off the field, just taking care of my body, trying to get stronger every season. You know, I'm big on – I'm big on development and growth. You know, every year I want to improve in, in any area that I can. So, you know, from my redshirt freshman year to my, you know, redshirt junior year, I just wanted to show growth in my game and, you know, put in work in the off season. And every year I just kept, you know, working hard, kept, you know, um, being a good leader for my teammates. And, you know, that helped me become the offensive player of the year. So, Yeah, and then uh, obviously that led uh, to you, uh, being able to play at the Division One level and having an impact on the Ball State football program this past season. Teammates not included, who do you think was the best player that you've played against over the years, Walter? I mean, you can take it all the way back to your D3 days. You can go back to your PSAC days in Division Two, or even this past year playing uh, D1. Is there a specific opponent that stands out? Um, I think uh, Damian Lord from IUP, they're, they're starting uh, Mike Linebacker. He's a very talented player. He's actually from Maryland as well. You know, we had some great battles over the year. He's a very talented player. He's physical. You know, he's strong. He's quick. And uh, he was definitely one of the top players. Also, um, Cal Safety, uh, Lamont McFadder, he was a great player as well. I know he transferred from Ball State. Um, I know those two definitely stand out to me as far as, you know, some of the top people that I play in the PSAC. You know, hopefully I'll see them in the next level as well. Again, we're chatting with Walter Fletcher, 2020 NFL draft prospect, running back out of Ball State University by way of Edinburgh University. Um, and, Walter, I know that you had an uh, opportunity uh, to play in the Tropical Bowl, a college football all-star game that was played in Daytona Beach, I believe it was. Um, and, mm-hmm. and, again, that's a that's a all-star game that really seems to be on the up and up. It seems like year after year they get uh, – more and more talent in that game. How was your week down there, and were you able to meet with any teams, maybe get a feel as to how they view you as a prospect? Um, it was a great experience. Um, actually, uh, Willie Steed, his father, was offensive coordinator, so um, just hearing him and the experience that he's, he's had watching his son in the NFL, and, and he was sharing things that he's seen and learned from being at the camps that his son was in and different teams. Um, it was definitely some great insight, and um, overall, you know, it was a great experience playing with some of the top prospects in the country. Um, I gave a chance for me to showcase my talents, you know, whether that was one-on-ones or, or whether we did team team things. And um, there was over 25 scouts there as well. So I had the opportunity. I talked to the um, Cowboys, talked to the Jets, talked to the Bills. And um, it was just a great experience overall. I think the Jets, one of the Jets scouts, that he, one of his, um, his scouts that – that are on charge of the Midwest, he actually liked my game a lot. So that was good to hear, you know, just hearing that, that I had some interest from, interest from teams. Um, definitely um, was eye-opening, and it, it motivated me to go even harder this off season and prepare for my pro day. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sure a very exciting time, especially getting the opportunity to play with uh, some of the best players in the country. And as you mentioned, um, Willie Sneed, uh, Will- Willie Sneed the third, the father of Willie Sneed the fourth, who's the wide receiver now for the Baltimore Ravens, former Ball State Cardinal himself, um, coached that game. So that's that's uh, that's great to hear. And uh, Willie Sneed, actually a former uh, guest of the show back when he was. Uh, uh, coming out of Ball State, just like yourself, so uh, certainly wow. wouldn't be surprised if uh, you follow the, the same uh, route to the league that that he does, and has quite an impact like how he has in the NFL. It, you know, speaking of some of these former NFL players, uh, Walter, is there a current or former player that you like to model your game after? I mean, who are some of the uh, pro guys that you like to watch? Um, uh, Christopher Caffrey is one of my favorite players. I just uh, I like how versatile he is. Um, he he's not 
dangerous. He's not only dangerous in the running the ball, but he's dangerous in the passing game as well. He's an excellent receiver. I know this past season he had over a thousand rush yards and a thousand receiving yards. So that's someone I try to model my game after. Um, someone that just recently retired, Darren Sproles. I mean, he's a smaller guy, but you know he's a guy that was very influential in the uh, kick return game and punt return. He was an ex- excellent special teams guy as well as uh, running and, and uh, receiving the ball as well. So those two guys are something that I always try to watch film on and any tape that I get my hands on, I try to watch them and model my game after. Well, certainly two guys that, that uh, just about anybody uh, should want to look at, uh, up to and model their game after. You know, it doesn't even really matter what position you play uh, to uh, to consummate professionals in both Sproles and McCaffrey. And uh, Walter, your your game definitely translates to the next level. The fact that obviously you're a versatile back who can uh, catch out of the backfield is a huge plus. I got to think that's probably something that really attracts a lot of these NFL teams. Uh, what about your uh, what, what about the blocking aspect, though, that comes with the running back position? Mm-hmm. Would you say that you're confident yeah. in your ability to keep the quarterback clean when asked to do so? Yes. Um, I think at uh, Edinburgh that was something that um, I knew coming to Ball State that something I needed to improve on. And I think uh, my running back coach, um, Coach Lynch, he did a great job of helping me with my technique as far as drills and practice as well. I think I definitely improved tremendously in pass blocking because the season – he, uh, before the season, he said he wanted wanted me to be in on third down and you know be able to receive the ball, but also protect the quarterback. So it's something that I improved on um, from the beginning to the end of the season that I've improved on tremendously. So um, I think that right now I'm capable of, of pass protection. Um, I think I'm confident that I'm confident in my ability in protecting the quarterback. A couple more questions for the 2020 NFL Draft prospect running back out of Ball State University by way of Edinburgh University and before that, Robert Macon University. He's Walter Fletcher. So, Walter, what's going to happen when you make a squad from a few months uh, from today? They have you record your introduction for Sunday or Monday Night Football. Which of those schools are you going to be representing? I mean, you certainly have more than just a couple of options. Um, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely say both of my schools that I I played for Edinburgh and um, Ball State. You know, those are two programs that have had a big impact on my career and have done a lot for me on and off the field. So I think I'll definitely say both. I don't want to leave one out because I don't think that would be fair. But I'll definitely mention both because, they, like I said, they, they've done a lot of things for me on and off the field, and I want to shout them out, you know, as much as I can. No doubt about it. And with the Tropical Bowl officially behind you, Walter, uh, I'm sure you're you're all focused on and, and, and all the focus has shifted on the preparation for your pro day. Um, you mentioned you're training with Chip Smith, uh, one of the best mm-hmm. in the uh, in the in the nation. Um, what are some of your goals that you've set out that you'd like to reach for that pro day? Um, I want to, you know, I'm just. Uh, right now, we're doing a lot of resistance training, a lot of explosiveness and power training. So my pro day, I want to at least show that I, I'm capable of uh, breaking long touchdowns. You know, I'm aiming for the 4-4 range. So that's my goal right now, just showing that I have have speed, you know, from 0 to 40 yards. That uh, I'm a speedy back. I want to showcase that I have strong hands. And, you know, as far as the running back position work, I want to show that my footwork is, is up to par and that I'm, you know, I'm, that I'm NFL back. So I just want to keep improving on the little things. I think that separates the top guys. And, you know, every, just take it one day at a time as far as my preparation. And by the time my pro day comes, I want to be sharp in every area. So until then, I just want to keep getting better every day and working on my training and my dieting. So I'm excited for it. I'm sure Ball State will be having a pro day. Will, will you be participating in their pro day, or will you try to go to a different program's pro day? Or is that still kind of in the works? Uh, um, I'll be participating in Ball State's pro day. Um, their pro day is actually March 30th. Okay. So um, that's the that's the day. So I'll be leaving here March 20th, and you know I have about 10 days to prepare for that. So just want to keep doing doing the things that I'm doing here. I want to keep that going all the way up to my pro day. So. All right, so we're officially under two months away, and I see on the Ball State official website, uh, Walter, they have you listed at five nine one ninety one. Is that accurate? If not, can you just give us an update on your current height and weight? Uh, actually, I, I'm five nine. My weight, I'm actually weighing about one ninety five right now. That's what I weighed in on Monday. Okay. So I'm actually, uh, yep, about four pounds heavier. So that's the, my playing weight that I want to play at about one ninety five to one ninety seven. So. On my pro day, I should be there. But, um, yeah, I'm weighing at 195 right now. 
All right, sounds good. Now let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers. They're listening to this very interview. Why should they want the running back out of Ball State University, Edinburgh University, Walter Fletcher, part of their team? How are you going to make an NFL franchise a better football team at the end of the day? I'm a guy who's a playmaker. You know, any point in the game, I can make an explosive play and put our team in a better position. And I'm a guy who can do a little bit of everything on the field. I can pass block. I can run in between the tackles. I can run outside zone. I can run in any route, whether it's slot or out of the backfield. And I'm also, I'm also a guy who will compete and, and excel on special teams, whether that's punt return, kick return, anything that the team needs me to needs me to do. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep working hard and just leave everything in God's hands. And certainly not somebody that they're going to have to worry about off the field as well. Really appreciate your time, Walter. One last question before we let you go. Uh, It's Super Bowl weekend. Uh, We're a little over 24 hours away from the Super Bowl. We got the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. I got to get a prediction from you before we let you go, man. Who do you see uh, pulling this game out and why? I think the – I'm taking the 49ers, man. I just think their defense is – one of the top in the NFL, and their rushing attack is serious. Myself being a running back, you know, last game was just a dominating, a dominating performance that they put on the running game. So, you know, I'm taking the 49ers, man. That defense is is super strong, and I'm confident in Richard Sherman at corner, man. That's one of my favorite players. So, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling I'm with the 49ers, 49ers as well. Uh, you know, like you said, I mean, run game and a, a solid defense, a great defense. Normally, the recipe for winning football, but if there's a team that could upset them, uh, if there's a quarterback that could upset them, it's certainly the guy that's playing on the other team, Patrick Mahomes. So hopefully it's a great game. I've been going back and forth all week, but yeah, I think the San Francisco 49ers come out victorious as well. Uh, Walter, really appreciate you taking some time this afternoon. Again, congratulations on all the success. Great journey, great story, and uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, what what goes on on that March 30th Pro Day, how you do there, and, of course, the 2020 NFL Draft where you land uh, come draft day. So, again, thanks for your time, man, and wishing you all the best. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.